Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to talk to you about a topic of Operation Barbarossa and how I feel that the battle plan should have been altered or changed. I have uh, several videos on Operation Barbarossa playing it in uh, Hearts of Iron 4 here. Um, this is not how I would uh, accomplish an Operation Barbarossa in Hearts of Iron 4 as Germany. Um, so I just loaded a game here and just to use the map, but your basic battle line is going to go somewhere through Lithuania, Poland, and then to Romania here, who is historically allied with the Axis. And the battle plan, you can watch the video, but basically when something like this you had panzer forces that would run in between these two rivers uh, to capture Odessa in the Crimea. Uh, you had a thrust going towards Moscow, and then you had uh, the northernmost thrust going towards Leningrad. I think that I would dispense with the three separate thrusts and do one thrust, and I'll explain to you why. We're just going to focus in the north here. So the straightest distance between point, two points is a straight line, right? And in Hearts of Iron 4, at least, you're supplying uh, off an equation that basically runs um, through your capital province here. And um, it's not going to let me do everything because I don't own these territories yet. But basically, most of the infrastructure in Germany historically would have been in Berlin, and essentially everything is coming through the capital or somewhere or uh, via, you know, uh, a sea route. So basically the first thing that you have in your advantage of just going north with all your forces is the fact that it's a fairly short distance in comparison to starting here and going to Moscow. It is still fairly long, but all you have to do is, is capture the Baltic states. Remember, a portion of Lithuania, Germany had... Uh, Lithuania had seceded to Germany. The other thing that you have going for you is as you go along the Baltic here, you're capturing all the seaports that you see here. And then you have another option. So all these ports in the Baltic can now supply all the ports that you've captured on your way up to Leningrad. So Leningrad is going to be a huge uh, port uh, the naval power at the time I don't really think mattered because Germany's air power could have knocked out uh, Russian, uh, the Russian naval forces in Leningrad. Uh, I don't think that there was a big battle between Germany and the Soviet Union on the seas in World War II. Correct me below if I'm wrong, but I haven't heard of one. But basically you take Leningrad, and then you have to think, well, how was Russia supplied in World War II? They had a lot of Lend-Lease from the U.S. and the U.K. They got a lot of bombers, etc. Now, that was later, but we're thinking ahead, and we're thinking about this battle plan with hindsight. Came through here, Murmansk. And there's a railway running from Murmansk to Leningrad uh, to Moscow. So you cut Leningrad off, you cut off Murmansk, and you basically have this bulge. Like, yeah, they can deliver all the equipment they want here. They can actually probably fly in bombers to Moscow. You're not going to stop that. But uh, all the Lend-Lease uh, arms that are coming through Murmansk, the food, the weapons, uh, the ammo, is going to be cut off after you take Leningrad. So you cut the Murmansk Railway, essentially pocketing off uh, Allied supply. And remember, the Allies could not supply through the Dardanelles because uh, Turkey had shut down the Dardanelles during World War II. You then, once you have taken the Baltic states and Leningrad, can supply your forces uh, via sea route because we know that the winter sets in and all of a sudden it's really hard to supply... Uh, things via ground when the there's mud, then there's snow, then there's frost. 
there's a, there's a ton of problems, but basically you're going to be able to have to transport goods over the Baltic into Leningrad. Once you hit Leningrad, you go straight for Moscow. And of course, you're going to have forces that, have are, that are already creeping up towards Moscow. So it's not going to just be a straight line with everything you have towards Leningrad. You're also going to have kind of a holding force creeping up towards Savas Smolensk um, and Rezev. And I believe the main railway actually went through Rezev. And the Germans did hold that in World War II for a time. But you're basically creeping up to Rezev. Then, boom, you take Leningrad. You take La Reserve, you take Moscow, and basically you cut off the supply from the Allies, and then you're you're going down south here, and then you're taking the rest of the country. So you have the Romanians hold, just say defend your country, maybe try to faint attack here, maybe try to go for Odessa uh, in Sevastopol if you can. But we're not going to support you much. We're not going to supply you much. And then we do exactly as I said, Leningrad, Moscow, Stalingrad, and then down here to Azer Azerbaijan and Astrakhan where all the oil is. So you take the oil via a circuitous route. Now, there is one caveat here. If the Nazis decided to change up their plan and actually ally with the Ukrainians, then you could go a southern route and you could go straight uh, toward, uh, towards Azerbaijan. But as you see here, these are really tall mountains. This is a very huge mountain range that you have to contend with. There are swamps in here, uh, the Baltic. You have no navy in the Baltic. Um, so supplying this area of the map down here is going to be very hard but if you own the railways in Moscow, from Leningrad to Moscow, it becomes a lot easier. But I don't think that it's obvious how it becomes a lot easier. If you guys have different opinions, if you don't think it's possible, this is obviously just my pure speculation. But this is how I feel that Barbarossa should have been done in real life. I have no military experience whatsoever. This is all just conjecture. So feel free to make comments down below. Uh, in terms of Hearts of Iron 4, I don't think that this works because of the terrain features that you have heading towards Leningrad. You have these uh, marshy areas that are not conducive to tanks and the wooded areas, and it gets very hard to maneuver your tanks in here, and your tanks will uh, suffer a lot of attrition. Um, so it is a little stickier trying to come up through here in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, that's for another video. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.